Lots of people who visit Mexico City will make it a point to visit the Frida Kahlo Museum. I mean, of course, she's an artistic and historical icon in Mexico, but when we ask those same people how they enjoyed Coyacan, many of them look at us like this. I'm shocked at how many people will go straight to the museum and then leave the neighborhood and miss out on the charm of Coyoacán. So today's Mexico City travel guide episode number two is to make sure that you don't miss out on our favorite part of Mexico City. Coyoacán is known for its rich history, its vibrant culture and artistic legacy. We actually live a few blocks away from here and we come here a lot. So today we're gonna to show you what we love to do and make sure you don't miss out on some of these gems that people miss out. Even if they do visit the neighborhood. Many of you know that Mexico has Pueblos Magicos and Mexico City is so big that we like to call this place a Barrio Magico. Okay, that's pretty good. Did you just come up with it? The streets of Coyacan are always full of surprises, which is why we never get tired of exploring this neighborhood, especially on the weekends when there's a lot of movement and excitement in the air. Every time we walk by here, we can't resist these cool plant holders. Check these bad boys out. Lo Yoda. You know, Star Troopers. El Ajolote, which is sleeping. Oh, it's so it's cute. Sleeping. Look at this one. How cute. Oh, this oh, pretty one is nice. I think today is the day. We might yeah. just get it. Today is the day we're going to get the little ajolote. We always yeah. come and look at that one. I know, but I think today is the day. Okay. No, luego vengo, porque quiero el rosita. Está dice que está aquí medio dormido. También está bonito. All right, guys, which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. You know when you tell vendors that you're going to come back later, but you're really not going to come back? We're coming back. We're coming back. We have to come back. I want it. All right, let's go. We're coming up on one of the busiest corners in Coyacán, thanks to El Jarocho Cafe. This place is always filled up with people. It doesn't matter if it's Saturday or Sunday, there's always people at these cafes. Sometimes we walk here at night and like we see so many people gathering, hanging out, reading a book, and we just want coffee, but because we can't have coffee so late, we, we have to pass. But this is easily one of the most iconic cafes in all of Coyacán. Doesn't it make you want coffee? Yes. Look at all of everybody. Oh. By the way, this is not their only location. They have like, I've seen at least four or five locations. There's La Hija de la Jarocha, there's El Jarocho, and they're scattered throughout the entire town of Coyacán. So if you see one and you like the setting, feel free to have a coffee. Because luckily today it's early enough to have enjoy some coffee on this beautiful day. So we're going to get a nice cappuccino. El Jarocho. Mmm, so we got the Jarocho Especial, which is a cappuccino with an extra shot of coffee. You got this? You good? You're gonna sleep tonight? Mm, looks good. Well, it looks like we are. But you know what you can do? You can help us out by supporting Eat By Let Travel by buying us a coffee in the link below. Oh, sh this is cargado for sure. Yeah, it's good though. Oh, it's strong. It's good. It's good. By the way, Coyoacan is known for their delicious churros and you can get them anywhere. As we're walking around, there's lots of street vendors, but there's a particular place we'd like to get them at, which we'll show you later. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. We've got some other things to explore. Mmm, obleas. If you haven't tried these, make sure you try them. And if you're in Coyoacan, Try the coffee ones and the Nutella ones. My favorite, my favorite. <laughs> what are obleas? It's those things that they give at Christ at church and they say amen. Stop. <laughs> I don't know. You're so bad. <laughs> it's, it's true. Jesus is medic. <gasps> Dude, I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid. I don't know what they are. It's kind of like a gelatin type of thing. But Buenas tardes. ¿A cuánto vendes las obleas? 20 y 25. ¿El de mazapán, por ejemplo? Este, 25. ¿A 25 me vendes una, porfa? Mazapán, flavor, you got Nutella, Oreo, mint, coco. Yes. Y'all caught that, right? I just suggested Nutella and café, and she went out and got mazapán. Mmm. Coyoacán has a ton of fascinating history. 
once a city of its own whose name derives from the indigenous word Coyoacan, which is a place of coyotes, Coyoacan since has been absorbed by Mexico City's urban sprawl. Let's start at the main square, Jardín Hidalgo, where you'll not only find a statue to honor one of Mexico's founding fathers, Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla, but you'll also find the 16th century former home of Spanish conqueror Hernán Cortés. Apparently this was Hernán Cortés's house. There are some arguments to whether or not he actually lived here, and they say that he even tortured Cuauhtémoc, the last Aztec emperor, right here. But some people say that the timelines don't match up, whether or not that's true. But one thing we know for sure is that Coyoacán was strategic to the conquering of Tenochtitlan. Coyoacán was on the edge of the lake that filled the valley of Mexico in the pre-Hispanic times. In the center of the lake was the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan, later to become Mexico City. Cortés launched a successful attack on the Aztecs from here, then returned to establish his home and to enjoy the spoils of the conquest. Parque Centenario is a beautiful garden lined with restaurants, many of them with live music, with an iconic fountain in the center featuring two coyotes. This is where majority of the people gather, whether it's for a leisure stroll, grab a coffee, grab a bite to eat, or catch some live entertainment. The Frida Kahlo Museum is her home, where she grew up, lived most of her life in, and where she died. What to know before visiting the Frida Kahlo Museum? Tickets are only sold online. Make sure to reserve in advance. Open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 to 6 p.m. Unlike the museum, the Frida Kahlo Park is not as visited as the museum is, but it's just as beautiful and worth visiting. We consider this a hidden gem because it's one that not many people know about. It's about a five minute bike ride from the museum, so you can come right before or after, especially if you're using the EcoBC, it's so easy to get to. Jardín Allende in Coyoacán is the center for art and dance, and on Saturday and Sunday afternoons, that is exactly what you'll find. Lo más mágico de México es venir aquí a las plazas and feel just at home with boleros, salsa, cumbia, people enjoying time together. I love this. I love this. This is not something I would find in my sister on a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon. We've also been by when they have salsas and cumbia, so hopefully they play one next so we can dance, because boleros is actually one that we don't know to dance very well. Uh, I think they do one and one and one and one. Yeah, but you know how to dance boleros? Yeah. Oh yeah? Huh? ¿Y por qué no me sacas a bailar? Because you don't know how to. Well, with a good lead. <laughs> it's like a waltz, right? Yeah, something like that. There you go. We're pros now, see? Voy a buscar un viejito para que me enseñe a bailar. There's one right behind me ready for you. <laughs> I may not really know what we're doing here, but it feels nice. Yeah, is... Plus, you see what the sign says? Lo importante no es quién baila mejor, sino quién goza más. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Oh my God. Oh, this is life right now. Están bonitos como para el recuerdo. ¿Qué cuestan estas miniaturas? Estas $150. $150. ¡Wow! ¡Qué hermosos! Mira. La monarca. Son pueblitos, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Un, ¿Un pueblito en particular? ¿O simplemente...? Son de varios. De varios. Oh, ¡Wow! ¡Están preciosos! ¡Wow! ¡Check out this mosaic art! ¡Uy, cow! ¡That's impressive! ¡Uh! ¡This heart one is really cool! Wow. Walking around here is like walking through a free art museum. This is exactly what it is, and it's the beauty of Coyacan. You know, the art culture is all embedded here. You want so different kinds of workshops all over the town, like artistic ones, dancing ones. You can get tattoos at some of these places from like really cool artists here in Coyacan. Wow. It's, it's impressive. We want to show off these beautiful pieces of artwork that we just bought at that place right behind me. I love succulents, I love cactuses, cacti. 
and I could not resist buying these two. Check this out. With a little hummingbird. I'm not sure what kind of paper this is, but the, something about the texture of the paper really stood out to me too. Pues una vez les presento al artista, aquí está, mire, el señor Marín, ¿verdad? Para servirle, Marín. ¿De dónde es usted, señor? Originario de Oaxaca. De Oaxaca. Oaxaca sí. Y de allá viene su talento hermoso. Eh, sí, esto es inspirado. A ver, cuénteme, cuénteme. Esto es inspirado en la región Mixteca, Mixteca Baja, Ajá. del estado de Oaxaca. Wow. Tal cual, así, así se ven la fauna ahí, de los, los pájaros. Estos los conocemos como calandrias. Calandrias. Sí, hay infinidades de pájaros. Ah. con nombres autóctonos de allá de la región Mixteca. Ajá. Sí, este es el, el, el cactus con la flora. Ajá. Sí, de aquí crecen las, las pitayas, que, es, que son ya grandes. Y en mayo se hace la feria de la pitaya, el, de donde yo soy originario. Hay feria, hay San, que ir a la feria. En San José Chichihualtepec, Oaxaca. Ajá. ¿Y las flores también son la, de su pueblo? Eh, estas no, estas ya son... Pues yo las veo y las plasmo, ¿no? o sea, son las rosas. Están hermosas. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Pues le man, les mandemos un muy amable saludo al pueblo de San José, Chichihualtepec. Chichihualtepec. Chichihualtepec, qué hermosura. Sí, claro Muchas sí. gracias por compartir su cuando arte guste, con el mundo y con nosotros. Quiero ir a conocer la población. Es muy pequeña, pero habemos como seis pintores en esa población. Ay, qué hermosura. Bueno, pues, cuando guste. Pero hoy estamos aquí en Coyoacán, aquí estamos exhibiendo. Todos los sábados y domingos, sábados ¿verdad? Sábados y domingos aquí estamos con los... Para que la gente con... venga a buscarlo y comprar, ah, llevarse un pedacito de estamos, cultura. Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. No, gracias a usted. Qué amable. Felicidades. We're getting kind of hungry, so let's head to Mercado Coyoacán for a snack. Mercado Coyoacán is not only food, it's also artesanías, art, a bunch of different things Souvenir. that they offer here. So let's hope that we can make it in and out without Jenny having to purchase something. Mercados are the heart of any town, any pueblo, any city in Mexico. Mm. Look at this. Resist, Jenny. Resist. Locals say that there are many things that you need to try when you come to Mercado Coyoacán, but one thing you need to try for sure, and if you didn't, it's like you've never made it here, son las tostadas en el Mercado Coyoacán. So these are it. These are all these the tostada spots. Big yellow highlighted spot. This is where it's at. Look for the yellow highlighter area. Oh, we're coming up on one of Kevin's favorite corners. Look at the donuts! Oh my god, I want it! Yeah, aside from the tostadas, this piñata stand is probably one of the most incredible piñata stands I've seen in all of Mexico. Check out these artistry, like... What do we pick up? Frozen. There's hundreds and hundreds of piñatas which make a great souvenir without having to carry too much when you travel back home. I love to take these to our nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, everybody, because they're, they're so cute. Let's see what else they got. They've got, what is that, a Power Ranger, Luchador, Luchadores. Over here. Super Mario, oh, look. Luigi. President of Mexico, we got AMLO. Dr. Simi. <laughs> oh, this, of course. This Dr. Simi is missing an eye. He needs to see the doctor. He needs to see the doctor. He needs to see himself. Yeah, Luigi, Mario, Bowser. Look at just look at the detail in these things. There's so there's so many. Perfect. I don't know where to look. This is Wednesday. Man, I had been waiting months for this. In Christmas, you couldn't find one of these. Oh, well, we might take one of these bad boys. She was sold out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. What's, what's your what's your favorite piñata? To see one you like, let us know. Comment down below. Comment down below. seem to sit at this corner, right? We love this. This is our corner right here. But there's so many different kinds of tostadas. There's ceviche, pulpo, chicken, tinga, beef. Every, there's a lot. I, there's so many. They're all really delicious. You can't go wrong with any of them uh, unless you have dietary restrictions. Right. And ordering here is super simple. They give you a, a receipt where you pretty much say how many you want. Just pick all of them if you want to. But <laughs> how would you like, baby? I'll take a ceviche, please. Two ceviches. Agua de Guanabana. Agua de Guanabana. 
I'm gonna try something different today. I'm gonna do a one tinga and one al pastor. Al pastor. <laughs> I love being in Mexico. Yeah. Mm. It's a ceviche. My favorite hidden gem in Coyoacán is Parque Viveros. It is humongous, which is kind of surprising why it's a hidden gem. I would consider it a hidden gem because it's not quite obvious that it's here. Plus, it's something that lots of people tend to miss when they visit Coyoacán. True. This is one of the parks where people in Mexico City come to breathe fresh air. Pollution is a real thing in Mexican City. 22 million people live here. So having the opportunity to come to Viveros to come for a walk or run and just breathe feels so good. When we were looking for a place to live in Mexico City, Parque Viveros was a huge factor in choosing where we ended up choosing to live because living just two blocks from here allows us to come and have a therapeutic walk, uh, a good run, a good workout. But the only downside is that the hours here are pretty limited and they close at 6 p.m. every day. Unlike other parks in Mexico City, when you walk into Parque Viveros, they will not allow you to bring food or mm -hmm. the only thing you can bring is water mm -hmm. and sports drinks, mm -hmm. nothing else. No plastic, nothing. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that they keep the park yep. very well preserved and clean. This is really a forest preserve. And what they do is they preserve all the native species, all the plants that are native to Mexico City, you'll find right here. And there's a shop where you can go plant shopping. Plaza La Conchita is another calm and tranquil side of Coyoacán. Here we found La Iglesia La Conchita, which is named after my grandmother, Conchita. Ah, just kidding. Uh, Concepcion de Maria. Uh, I think it's probably one of the oldest churches here in Coyoacán. Like most old churches in Mexico, this church was also built on top of an old indigenous temple. One out of the many stories that my dad has shared with me is about this one time that he got deported from Chicago to Mexico in the early 80s or mid 80s. And he ended up in Mexico City at a cantina called La Guadalupana. One day Jenny and I were walking and we're like, hey, is that the cantina my dad mentioned? Apparently he spent like five or six hours here with his siblings drinking, listening to mariachi. So one day we're like, Let's, let's check this place out. Now, La Guadalupana is now closed, so we're gonna go to the other part where it's, it's an extension of the cantina, which is La Coyoacana. If you come to Coyoacana and you wanna have great food, good drinks, and a really good time, you gotta check out La Coyoacana. La Coyoacana is a really popular cantina and restaurant, so there's usually a wait, but it's definitely worth it. So while we wait for our table, I wanna quickly show you another good option in case you can't wait or you just want more recommendations. Keep walking in this direction, which is away from the main square. You'll see a sushi spot, merendero restaurant, which looks really old school and cool, kind of like from the 60s vibe. Haven't, and we haven't eaten there, but it looks cool. And then just a few steps further, there's this restaurant here called Ecos del Mundo. It offers breakfast, lunch, dinner, homemade pastry items, and they offer world dishes like ramen, curry, burgers. Uh, we had an amazing burger here. I also had the lasagna. It's really good, highly recommend. But we didn't get footage of our food that day, but it was so, so good. We just wanted to quickly plug it in here because we really liked it. So, Goyacana time. So we initially got our table in the inside, but we asked them as soon as there was one available in the terraza area, and finally we got one. So we decided to get our food. Ooh, I think it's here. Every time we come to La Coyacana, we get a mocajete de arrachera. Honestly, this is my favorite plate, probably in all Mexico City, and definitely Coyacan. All mocajetes come with chorizo chistora, queso, and a salsa verde in the mocajete. Oh my God, y'all, you have to try this if you come to Coyoacán. Oh, my mouth is watering because we've been waiting for this for quite some time. Another delicious go-to dish for us here is the rajas con crema. Mwah, delicious. So what I like to do is make 
make a taco with my rajas and the arrachera. If you thought Coyoacan looked cool before this point of the video, just wait until you see what it looks like at night. We could walk the same path that we took in the first half of this video and not see the exact same things like mariachi, restaurants, people having dinner outside. It just feels so good to be in a place that has so much life. life. This place has so many random cool things that I don't need, but I really want. Like this, look at this spaceman. Look at how beautiful these are. You're talking about cool things that you don't need. Let me take you to my street. Take you to Cayaguayo. Please tell me that you saw the girl with the rubber ducky on her head and a donut floaty thingy. And with a sombrero. Yep. I'm like, I'm teasing and I'm laughing, but now I also really want one. <laughs> There are so many things to love about the Coyoca neighborhood, but one of my favorite things is that every night on the weekends, this street turns into a food festival. When we say Coyoacan is artsy, that includes food, and that includes cotton candy. Look at all the different shapes that you can order your cotton candy in. Super Mario, Hello Kitty, Homer Simpson, Los Pitufos, damn it, what are these in English? Smurfs. Smurfs, thank you. I don't need as much sugar. If you're on a diet, I recommend avoiding this street and area altogether. And now the last and most important thing not to miss in Coyoacan are the churros. Look at this. We've got Nutella, Baileys, Baileys mint, tequila, rompope, cafe, calua, amaretto, piña colada, pecan, almonds, pine nut, cocoa, blueberry, Hershey's, Dude, I could go on and on, but there are all kinds of combinations and the price varies depending on your flavor. The ones that we've had before are pie de limon, coco, rompope. You can never go wrong with cajeta or Nutella. Oof, what should it be today? I got strawberry churro. And I got the guayaba filling and you can tell right away I licked it before we turned the camera on. And these are fresh. You can tell that they make these right in-house. The guayaba is my favorite. Fresa, we've never tried, but you know, like it already licked yours. The cool thing about this place is that they always have fresh preserves, fresh jellies. They're like almost like made on the spot. Good, 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 good. Cheers. There are lots of places to get churros in Coyacan. But we like coming to this really busy and intense corner for the thrill. No, they're actually really good. Plus, they're only 20 and 25 pesos per churro. And they're my favorite, honestly. For those of you who've been to Coyacan, uh, do we miss anything? I wish there was a Frida emoji so I could ask y'all to drop one in the comment. So how about this? If you could describe Coyacan in one emoji, which one would it be? Se cuidan, se bañan, y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.